All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James hanging out with my good buddy Anubhav Sapra from Delhi Food Box today. And today we are in Jaipur, Rajasthan. And I'm so pumped because today we're going to go for a ton of Rajasthani street food. Yeah, we're going to try so many different kinds of street food in Jaipur. Awesome. This is Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan, India. Just a four hour drive south from Delhi. And today, with our good buddy Anubhav, we're trying out 10 different street foods, all pure vegetarian and all right on the street. And first up, we found a friendly local selling some super fresh and sour buttermilk right in an alleyway. Let's try. Yeah. So we're gonna get a buttermilk lassi. Oh. Pure buttermilk. <laughs> This guy's so nice. That's it, posing for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a traditional Rajasthani man. Nice. Just drink? Yeah, yeah, oh. drink it. Just drink. Okay. <laughs> Buttermilk. Mm. Oh. Good. It's sour. Pure. No sweetening in there in there. It's a great digestion. Really? Very good for health in summer. Mm. Wow, and he just sells it like that. And does he offer mint or anything with it? Yeah, yeah. Pudina. 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 Oh. oh, so he's selling buttermilk and pudina separate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, shukriya. Shukriya. Wow, so nice. Really. I feel like in, in India you can meet anyone anywhere. Yeah. They're so happy to serve you food. Yeah. <laughs> they so love friendly. eating. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's keep exploring. Next up, Anubab is bringing us to try another famous street food in Jaipur, the street pizza omelette. One of the most satisfying street foods you can find in all of India. We are in Bapunagar, Jaipur, and this, we are going to Sanjay Omelette. Oh. This place, he's like the, he's one of, he was one of the participants of Master Chef India. Really? It's almost 100 different varieties of omelette. Here. Master Chef omelette. Yeah, Master Chef India omelette. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so we're making omelets here. Yeah, we're going to try Afghani uh, pizza omelet and we'll try the masala omelet. Wow. That's a very local traditional omelet is masala omelet. And is so they've got one just like an omelet sandwich there. Yeah, that's an omelet sandwich. Oh. It's a butter, loads of butter. Oh, eggs. Eggs. So there's eggs, green pepper, onion. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and in it goes. So which one is this? This is a masala omelette. Masala omelette. Whoa, beautiful. So we got the classic peppers and onions. Oh yeah. And is this in a sandwich? Yes, it's a sandwich and they will, the speciality is the chutney. They make a chutney of garlic and red chilies. Oh. So that's the speciality, they will add it. Wow. Lots of butter. Tons of butter. <laughs> oh, and then tomatoes. That's a, that's a chutney. Oh. Chutney of uh, red chilies and garlic. Red chili, garlic, chutney. That's the secret. Oh, that just smells amazing. That's just incredible. Under different varieties of omelette. Yeah. Masala omelette. Oh, it looks heavy. No, it's adding the bread slices. Okay. So it's like an omelette sandwich. Omelette sandwich. Masala omelette sandwich. Masala omelette sandwich. That looks so heavy. Wow. Oh, yeah. And now we're getting the Afghan omelette. Here, Afghani pizza. This is Afghani pizza omelette. Oh, beautiful. The second butter. Lots of butter. Two, two eggs. Chili, onion, salt. Oh, this is just amazing watching the omelette action. <laughs> oh, and then it goes. It looks quite similar. It's similar, but they will add it over a base of pizza. Oh, pizza. Pizza base, and then they will add lots of cheese in it. Oh. So you can see there's a pizza base. Oh, okay. There's a pizza omelet. Let's see. There's wow. a pizza base. Again, with loads of butter. Yeah, tons of butter. Tons of butter. There's a pizza omelet. Oh. So you can see. It's like a greasy omelette patty on a pizza base. Yeah, pizza base. And then some tomatoes. Oh, and coriander. Coriander. Wow. And 
and then there's cabbage. Cabbage. More tomatoes. And then we'll add cheese over it. There's oh, some more butter. More butter. More butter. That looks incredibly heavy. Whoa, pizza omelet. That's, that's the cheese. Oh, that's mayo. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Incredible. The pizza omelet. Wow. You can just have a slice of that pizza omelet. And then this is the classic masala omelet, masala omelet sandwich. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Mm. Whoa. It's like ultra creamy. It's like a cheesy, mayo-y, slightly crispy and saturated, fluffy omelet. It's very heavy. The, the pizza base. It's like a deep fried pizza crust. And then we've got this beautiful, fluffy masala omelet sandwich. Let's try this out. This is very special of this place because of chutney. Mm. The masala chutney. Mm, chutney. Mm, it's all about that chutney. Chili garlic. It's spicy, garlicky. The bread is saturated with butter, so it lends a lot of flavor. And wow, this is like heavy omelet delight. And after enjoying that beautiful masala omelet sandwich, we made our way to our next street food, the masala chai. And within just a few minutes, we're in the old city of Jaipur, known as Pink City, hunting for chai. We are in Pink City in Jaipur, and oh. right now we are in Wall City. The old city, and it's all pink. It's all pink. Beautiful. We are going to Sahu tea stall, and it's, it's almost 70 years old tea stall in Jaipur. 70 year old yeah, tea joint right here. This is so busy. Classic chai. Classic Indian chai. street chai. And cooked over charcoal. Wow, it's busy here. Oh, it's the most famous chai. tea stall in Jaipur. Whoa, right over the coals. Slow boiled, slow cooked. That's oh, and then in goes the tea. That's just pure black tea, right? Beautiful. No, it'll be slow boil. Slow boil. Slow boil, slow cook. With that thick That's milk. the masala. Oh, masala. Chai masala. Oh. You can smell it also, the masala. Yeah, cardamom. Yeah. And masala. Beautiful. Oh. You can smell the spices. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Cardamom in there. Mmm. That is just the heart and soul yes. of India. Yeah, and there's no water in it. No water. He has not had your water. Pani dalte is a pani. No, only oh, milk. Pure buffalo milk. Yeah. That's why it's thick. So thick. Yeah. To me, tea is just one of the, the most beautiful things in India because everyone loves it. It's on the street. You can hang out and chat with people. And the shop owners take pride in their work. When it's good tea, everyone comes. Tea is like something which unites us. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing which unites India is tea. It's the chai. Chai. You go anywhere from north to south, east to west, you can have chai anywhere. It's all about the chai. It's all about chai. Now the mo Oh, sugar. One, two, three. That's too much. <laughs> Four. Four scoops. Five. Five. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. No, no, I still like in this quantity. Oh, it's almost done. Yeah, no, it's oh, right in the cloth. Right in the cloth there. Strain it out. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. This is a very traditional style of straining it out. For me, every time I leave India, this is actually one of the things I miss the most. Yeah, the and I'm sure that the locals, when they leave and come back, it's probably the same. That's true. They miss the chai. Oh. Wow, look at that beautiful chai. The soul of India right here. Yes, chai is chai. like our national drink. Really? It's our national drink. Officially, it's a national drink. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Mm, oh, what a strong cardamom flavor. Yeah. Milky, creamy, sweet, ultra sweet. It's quite thick. Mm. Without the buffalo milk they use. Buffalo milk? Yeah. Wow. And next up, Anubhav is bringing us for some ultra flavorful marinated and grilled paneer, the paneer tikka, right in the back lanes of Jaipur. 
and right when you walk up and you see all that bright red paneer grilling right over the flame and you smell the tandoori spices in the air, you know it's gonna be good. It is so good to be exploring Jaipur for street food and right up here we're gonna have grilled paneer, right? Yeah, we have paneer tikka and soya chop. Oh, paneer tikka. Grilled paneer, which is grilled cottage cheese, right? Yeah. Awesome, look at this. Oh, look at the color. Look at the color. Hi. Hi. Whoa, paneer tikka. Paneer tikka. Magical, bright orange paneer on here. It's made in tandoori spices oh. with garlic, ginger, and then they are grilled. And then the soya chop, the green one, they marinated in coriander and mint. Oh, okay, and just look at the color on there, bright orange. Yeah. Because of the tandoori spices. Tandoori spices, and you can smell the smokiness right from those coals. This is what India is about. You've got amazing meat, but you've also got delicious veg. You can have the best of both worlds. We never feel like missing meat here. Yeah. We have so much of vegetarian option here. Mm. So there's the green one, which is with mint. With mint and coriander. Mint and coriander. coriander. And then the Afghani. Afghani basically meant by uh, creamy flavor. Creamy. Oh, and you can see they're marinating some over there as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like hariyali, hariyali chap. Like soya. Yeah, soya. Soya chap is mint and coriander. Oh, mint and coriander. Green in color. So they've got the soya chop, which is basically kind of like tofu, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're marinating it in the same masala spices. Oh wow! And they also have the paneer. It is just so colorful and beautiful. Yes, it is. It's like the color of the flag. Of India. <laughs> oh, the flag of India. Yeah, the green, then you have white, all different colors. Ah. Okay. Oh, yeah, here they are. So, what are they putting on there? Add some different kind of spices, butter and lemon over it. Butter, lemon, and masala. 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 Oh, amazing. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. We got beautiful paneer and soya. Soya chop. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, it's very citrusy. Yeah, because of the lemon they added over it. Mm. That's why. And the chaat masala also. Yeah, citrusy yeah, and spicy and tangy. Mmm, pure cottage cheese. That is amazing. Then we can go in for this beautiful mint and coriander soya. Soya chop. Soya chop. Mmm. Oh, it's like a firm tofu. And also has that citrus kick. Smoky. I feel like coming here, your, your mouth just comes alive with all these new flavors everywhere. On every street corner, there's so much to try. Just like this, you got the paneer, you got the soya, different spices, different flavors. Mmm, just perfect. Next up, and before going for the ultimate street bread and curry, and then a huge Rajasthani tali feast, Anubhav is bringing us for some amazing pickles right on the street. So we're going for pickles next. Yeah. And it's like 180 years old pickle shop. 180 year old pickle joint. Awesome, right up here. Oh, see, right there's here. so many different varieties of pickles they have. Wow, so many pickles. This is mango. Oh, mango pickle. They add, like they use mustard oil for making the pickles. Oh, so it's spicy and mustardy. Yeah. Yep. And tons of pickles up here too. So what sort of pickles do we have? We are going to try three of them. We'll try the garlic one. Okay. And then we'll try the raw mango one. So garlic and mango. We'll try turmeric as well. Oh, turmeric pickle. Yeah, turmeric pickle is very good for health. Lemon, ginger, garlic, turmeric. It's all here. So they do it in a mustard oil? Mustard oil. This is a, this is a preservative. This is actually a preservative, mustard oil. Mustard oil. Indian food is incomplete without pickles. It's an essential part. It's an essential part of our food. So when every season we make different varieties of pickles mm. at home. And that's how they traditionally used to make. In these big clay pots. Yeah. That's the garlic. Garlic. Nice. He's making us a pickle tally. Pickle <laughs> Nice. So what do we have? This turmeric. Turmeric. Garlic and raw mango. Oh, awesome. Turmeric. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what's in there? There's fennel seeds, black mustard seeds. Oh wow. Oh wow. 
Wow, that is potent. And turmeric is very good for health. Mm. So many, and this like the, the fresh turmeric, it's not the dry turmeric. No chemical, no color, no color, all, all natural, all natural. Wow, that is strong. Turmeric. That is so strong, spicy and mustardy. Yeah. You got a real mustard kick in there. If you like strong, pungent flavors, you're gonna love these pickles, especially the tangy and sweet mango pickle at the end. And next up, we're going for some street bread and curry that you just can't stop eating. So we're going to try here beja roti with aloo sabji. Oh. They're getting a very traditional meal of Rajasthan. Right on the street. Right on the street. And we can see how they are cooked. Oh. So it's like a it's like a, a whole wheat bread? It's a whole wheat bread. It's like they add three kinds of flour. They add black Bengal gram. Bengal gram. Then they add jaw. And uh, then they also add game, like wheat, wheat flour. Oh, nice. And they roll them out right here. And these are all the curries? These are all the curries. Oh, so. There's paneer, so. there's the onion, there's you can see. And the onion, they add the whole onion, the small size oh, onion. Oh, shallot. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Potato, onion, paneer. And that's paneer. And it smells sweet. Yeah. And what else do they have? This is called gatta. Oh. Gatta chickpea flour. Oh, chickpea flour curry. Yeah. So we've got one with tomato, onion, and paneer. Yeah. We've got one with chickpea flour, and then this is uh, green chili with potatoes. Oh. Mix, mix of these. Nice. Let's break this. This is a very uh, wholesome food. It looks wholesome. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can feel the grains in your hand. Oh wow, chickpea curry. Look at that. Chickpea flour curry, right? Chickpea flour. Mmm. Oh. That is like the most wholesome bread you will ever eat. Yep. Very healthy, very it healthy. so healthy. And then with the ghee, it gives a little bit of flavor too. Yeah, this is like our multi-grain bread. Mm. And that curry, it's just light, a little tangy, and maybe a little sweet. Because tomatoes they add in it. Tomatoes. Mm. We can go for the aloo piaz. So this is what the locals in Rajasthan eat. Yes, bro. It's like a vegetarian food of Rajasthan. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that. That is so nice. I love how it's just smooth and light, but the tomato and the onion, when they're combined in there, they're sweet. Mmm. Thank you. To finish off the day, Anubhav is bringing us to try the iconic Rajasthani meal, the tali. A huge feast full of tons of vegetarian curries and sauces, all on a massive plate with unlimited refills. So next we are going to have the traditional Rajasthani meal. Oh. Vegetarian, proper vegetarian Rajasthani food. Rajasthani thali. Yes, and thali. And see how they will greet us. Ah. Yeah. Traditional style. Nice. Hey. You put the mark on your... Ah. Wow. Shukriya. So what's this called? This is like uh, when you have a new guest at your place, you greet him like this. Okay. It's a traditional way of welcoming the guest to your family. Great. And we're going into Tali Heaven. You can see how beautiful this place is. Oh, oh. the Rajasthani hat. Rajasthani. Oh. oh, yeah. Yes. It looks good. Uh, we look Rajasthani. We're handsome. <laughs> and before we knew it, we were being served an unlimited amount of delicious curries, all eaten by hand. There's nothing better. Wow, what an amazing selection we've got here. Pure. Rajasthani, all veg. All veg, all veg. In. All veg. So much here. It's, I'm overwhelmed. What do we have here today? Let's start from here. This is cucumber and cabbage salad. Okay. Here we have rice, basmati rice. Then here we have spinach kofta. Oh, so it's like a tomato, onion, spinach curry. Yeah. Then here we have uh, gatta curry. It's a very traditional dish of Rajasthan. It's called gatta. Gatta. Gatte ki sabji or gatta, you can call it. Okay. It's made up of chickpea flour, gram flour. That's what they make it. And it's creamy, it looks creamy. Yeah, it's like creamy because of tomatoes they add in it. Tons of spices. And here we have alu piyaz curry. Alu piyaz. Yes, potato and onion. Okay. Then again, this is a very traditional uh, dish of Rajasthan. It's called kadi. Kadi. It's not kari. Kadi. <laughs> K-A-D-I, kadi. Oh, kadi. Kadi, yeah. This is dal lentils. Oh, dal lentils. Oh, and then there's a huge 
leaf plate here. Yeah. And here we have papadum. Papadum. We have three different kinds of bread. Uh, one is the normal wheat flour. Mm. Then we have corn flour. Mm. Then we have chickpea flour. Okay. Then we have chutney, coriander, chutney. coriander chutney. Okay. Two small balls of <laughs> butter, 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 which you put over the bread. Okay. Then here we have king kheer sang. It's again a speciality of Rajasthan. Like a Rajasthani plan. Rajasthani plan, Rajasthani herb. Then we have again a traditional chutney of Rajasthan. It's garlic and chili. Then we have uh, khichdi made up of bajra. Khichdi. Yeah, khichdi, and like a porridge. Oh, so it's like a millet porridge. Millet porridge with sugar. Yeah. This nice. is churma. Okay. Churma is made up again made up of wheat flour. It's with sugar. It's a sweet wheat flour. Yeah, sugar wheat flour. Mm. And then we have our Indian classic dessert, pan Indian classic <laughs> dessert called jalebi. The jalebi. So deep fried dough circle yeah. covered in syrup. Yeah. This is again a traditional dish of Rajasthan. It's called bati. Bati. So it's like a dumpling stuff with lentil. Yeah. I really, I think this one looks so nice. The gatta sabzi. Gatta sabzi. So there's like chickpea flour balls yeah. in there. Yeah. And creamy and full of seeds like fennel. Oh, to me, this is what life is about. Eating it's delicious ta food. It's like an Indian taco. Indian taco, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. A little mustardy. Yeah. You can taste the mustard in there. A little spicy. Mmm. And healthy. This is all pure veg. The variety of flavors here and the wholesomeness of this meal is worth coming to Rajasthan alone for. You can taste bite after bite of new flavors. It's all here waiting for you in Rajasthan. Thank you so much Anubhav, that was an amazing day. I'm gonna leave a link to Delhi Food Walks in the description below. So much delicious food here in Rajasthan and we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, that was Hope just... to see you back on the streets of India. That's a ton of fun, thanks buddy. Thank you.